Hi guys, welcome back. So today I wanted to do a little something a little bit different. I got a comment on my last video requesting to see a tutorial on how you can do a fierce eyeliner with a bold lip. So I thought might as well film it. And so that's what I did today. But instead of just pairing it with a bright lip color like this one, I gave you guys three different options. So I used a nude color, this bright pink color that I have right on right now and a red color so, so I hope that you guys enjoy this video if you have any more requests please feel free to leave them down below but yeah if you'd like to see how to get this fierce winged eyeliner look then please keep watching okay so starting off I'm using my Mary Kay daily moisturizer my skin right now is so dry I'm like on a dry spell and I really hate it so it's very important for me to moisturize so I'm just gonna apply that evenly and massage it into my skin I'm also gonna go in with a eye cream just because I did not get enough sleep last night and my eyes are so swollen so I'm just using my Mary Kay Volume Firm Eye Renewal Cream and I'm just going to apply that under my eyes. This is really good because I have a really dry under eye area and when I apply concealer, um, it's always good to have a moisturized under eye. So now for my primer, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser and I'm just basically applying that where my pores are very visible which is usually in my T-zone area. And now for foundation, I'm going to be using my 24-hour Revlon Color Stay Foundation in the shade 360 Golden Caramel. I recently picked this up and I love it so far. It has amazing coverage and it doesn't feel heavy on the skin, so that's why I love this foundation. And they also ha they have one for like really oily skin and they also have a mat mattifying one, so I really love this foundation. I know that I'm going to get quite a few comments saying that my foundation doesn't match my face, but it does match the rest of my body, so don't try me. Just kidding. So now I'm doing my eyebrows, and I'm going to do that off camera just because it takes me a while, but I'm just using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in Dark Brown. And for my eyelid primer, I'm just using the NYX HD Concealer. So for the eye makeup, I'm going to be using the Maybelline The Nudes eyeshadow palette. Um, I'm not going to add a ton of eyeshadow. I'm just grabbing the whitest eyeshadow that's there and I'm applying that all over my eyelids just so it's easier to add color and blend the other eyeshadows out. And now I'm grabbing this very brown grayish toned eyeshadow color. And I'm just applying that all over my crease. And this is the only eyeshadow that I'm going to be using. I didn't want to go crazy with the eyeshadow. I just wanted to add a little bit of color and dimension. So that's why I'm going in with a brown eyeshadow. So for my eyeliner, I'm going to be using the NYC Liquid Eyeliner in the color black. I love this eyeliner just because it's super affordable and it also has a matte finish. It doesn't have like a glossy eyeliner finish. I'm not about that life. I love my mattifying eyeliners. So that's why I absolutely love this one. So what I'm doing is I'm just creating a very dramatic winged eyeliner. I'm starting out small and then building it up 
as I go, making it thicker, making it darker, whatever it is that you do for your eyeliner. I'm not going to apply false lashes, I'm just going to add some mascara and the mascara I'm using is the L'Oreal Paris Voluminous Hydro Fuge Mascara. And then I realized that I was not recording when I applied my concealer, but I'm just using the NYX HD concealer. And now to set my concealer, I'm using this um, Wet n Wild contouring palette. Uh, it's in the col it's in the shade Dulce de Leche, and I'm just grabbing that white color and applying it where I applied concealer concealer just to set it. And then I'm going in with the contour shade and just slightly contouring. I'm not doing something very dramatic. I'm just doing, you know, simple contouring, and I'm just putting that on the hollows of my cheeks, on my forehead, and on my temples. So now I'm going back with the same eyeshadow palette and I'm grabbing the same color that we applied to our crease area and I'm blending that into my lower lash line just because I want to add some dimension and color on there. And then I'm grabbing an angled flat brush and I'm getting the black color that's in the same palette and adding it as close to my, to my lash line as possible just because I wanted to add, you know, a little bit of black on there. So we're basically done with the face and the eyes and now I'm moving on to the lip color and I'm going to start off with the nude options. So I'm lining my lips with the Rimmel London lip liner in the color Easton Snob and then for lipstick I'm going to be using the MAC lipstick in Velvet Teddy. I love this lipstick, it's like the perfect nude. The other lip color option is a very red lip color. I can never go wrong with having red lips. <laughs> so I'm using the L'Oreal Color Rich Lip Liner in the color Always Red. I'm just lining my lips with that. And then for the lipstick, I'm going to be using the Rimmel London lipstick in the shade 660 In Love With Ginger. The last lip color option is a very bright pink lip color. I absolutely love this lipstick and I just bought it the other day. So it's called Matte Orchid by Milani. It is such a beautiful pinky shade and I wish I had this during the summer because I would have worn it like every day. So I'm just filling in my lips with that.
So that's basically it for this tutorial. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye.